He has quickly become one of Hollywood's most prominent leading men, and it's easy to see why. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie moments that made us love Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> For this list, we're looking at the most memorable scenes from Chalamet's films that showed off his skills and range. We'll only be considering his more significant roles. Number 10. Dancing with Joe, Little Women After being released in 2019, it was pretty clear that Greta Gerwig's interpretation of the beloved novel Little Women was going to become a classic in its own right. Oh! Sorry, I didn't know anyone was here. Not at all. So stay if, you, if you'd like. I won't disturb you. No, I don't know many people here. I felt rather strange at first, mm -hmm. you know? So do I. <laughs> Miss March, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Lawrence, but I'm not Miss March. I'm only Joe. And I'm not Mr. Lawrence. I'm only Lori. One of the reasons the movie was so hotly anticipated was that Timothy would be playing Lori, who befriends Joe March early in the story. Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because... Because of what? You won't tell? Never. I scorched my dress, see? There. Their relationship is an enviable one, and we get to see all the most fun parts of it in this scene, where the two outcasts have a dance party of their own outside the more formal party taking place inside. We see Laurie's character clearly from this early scene, and it's obvious why he's such a perfect companion for Joe. Number 9. Cornfield Chase, Interstellar we wouldn't be surprised if you didn't remember that Timothy Chalamet was in the epic 2014 sci-fi movie Interstellar. Whoa! Get in. Get in, let's go. What about the flat tire? Yep. He starred alongside Matthew McConaughey playing his teenage son Tom, with Casey Affleck playing the grown-up version. Chalamet doesn't have the biggest of roles here, but it is still a significant one considering his character's relation to the protagonist. In the scene where Coop is racing through a cornfield with his kids, Timothy has to take the wheel, quite literally, for a dangerous chase. It's an Indian Air Force drone. Solar cells can power an entire farm. Take the wheel, Tom. Luckily, he has a good head on his shoulders and knows that sometimes you have to slam on the brakes even if your dad tells you not to. Yeah. I almost got it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Dad! You told me to keep driving. Number 8. Parking Lot, Lady Bird Chalamet has played plenty of likable parts, but his role in 2017's Lady Bird is not one of them. What? Sorry, I, that, that was an exaggeration. It's okay. My dad has cancer, so I guess God's doing that for us. Oh, I'm sorry. He plays our protagonist's love interest for part of the film, but it's easy for the audience to see that he's pretentious, full of himself, and honestly kind of annoying. While Lady Bird tries inexpertly to flirt with him while they're hanging out in a parking lot, he spews out conspiracy theories about cell phones and deadpans about his dad having cancer, clearly making Lady Bird uncomfortable. It, it's my parents' number. You don't have a cell phone? No. Nah. Good girl. The government didn't have to put tracking devices on us, we bought them and put them on ourselves. Despite the fact that he's meant to be hateable, Timothy still brings something to this performance that makes us understand why Lady Bird is so into him. It'll be a matter of time. Before what? Before they put them in our brains. <laughs> Number 7. Arthur Miller Monologue, Miss Stevens The 2016 film Miss Stevens was released before Timothy became the A-lister he is today, but it's definitely worth going back and watching if you haven't seen it. Sam, your monologue was really good so far, I'm sorry. It's Christopher Durang, right? I don't think you knew who Christopher was. Guys, we're sitting on the side of the road! Right. It was the warning light, wasn't it? It wasn't the warning well, light, Margaret. Oh, the, warning light. the premise of the story is that a high school teacher takes three students to a drama competition. Chalamet plays Billy, who is the best actor of the bunch but faces internal struggles. In this scene, he delivers a show-stopping monologue from Death of a Salesman. If you're gonna hear the truth, what you are and what I am, We never told the truth for 10 minutes in this house. The performance is impressive because of how layered it is. He has to play an actor who is playing a totally different part. Suddenly I stopped, you hear me? And in the middle of that office building, do you hear this? I stopped in the middle of the building 
and I saw the sky. Number six, Henry's speech, the king. And you should hurry along then. Please, my lord, does your father, he's dying. Mm, that hook has lost its worm. Based on William Shakespeare's collection of work that is commonly referred to as the Henriad, which focuses on King Henry V, the king stars Chalamet in a role unlike any he had played before. He took up the mantle of a dramatic historical piece, playing a young ruler in charge of the lives of many. In this scene, he gives an impassioned speech to his army where he tries to convince them to fight in the name of the English without regard for their lives. Expected me a speech! I have only one to give, and it is the same one I'd give were we not standing on the brim of a battlefield. It is the same one I'd give were we to meet in the street by chance. He does such a good job, we would gladly take up a sword after hearing it. All men are born to die, we know it. We carry it with us always. If your day be today, so be it. Mine will be tomorrow. Or mine today and yours tomorrow, it matters not. Number five, In the Diner, Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy, released in 2018, deals with some difficult subject matter. All right, hey, listen, I'm gonna give you a call later, all right? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna do all right. It focuses on a father-son relationship, with the lead roles played by Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet's character is dealing with issues of addiction, which of course causes his father plenty of anguish. I'm doing great, you know, just, um, um, just doing what needs to be done. And what does that mean? Just being responsible for myself. In this scene, the two sit in a diner together and Nick tells his father he's doing well, but needs some money. He's entirely unconvincing in his claim that his life is turning around. And it's heartbreaking to watch his father realize this. I understand why I do things. It doesn't make me any different, all right? I'm attracted to craziness, and you're just embarrassed because I was like, you know, I was like this amazing thing, like your special creation or something, and you don't like who I am now. Yeah, who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad, here, this is who I am. Number four, coffee shop conversation, Lady Bird. When Lady Bird notices Kyle sitting outside the cafe she works at, she can't help but go and talk to him. She tells him how much she loves his band, and he responds ever so cruelly, giving off the vibe of a guy who has girls approaching him all the time. I, I like your band. Uh, with Jonah Ruiz, Len Fance New. Len Fance New. Uh, well, I, I saw your Thanksgiving show. My name's Lady Bird. It's weird you shake hands. Chalamet is clearly playing a caricature of an egocentric teenage boy, and the performance is so well done that he is simultaneously convincing and totally hilarious in how perfectly he nails it. We guess you could say that his acting job is hella tight. I'm friends with Jenna, and she's always talking about how great your band is, so I wanted to check it out. Yeah, Jenna's hella tight. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you the deuce or something, huh? Number three, first kiss. Call me by your name. I like the way you say things. I don't know why you're always putting yourself down, though. So you won't, I guess? You really that afraid of what I think? 2017 was the year things really began to change for Timothy Chalamet, as he appeared not only in the critically acclaimed Lady Bird, but he also starred in the adaptation of Andre Asimov's novel Call Me By Your Name. Chalamet plays the young Elio, who finds himself falling in love with an older scholar who's spending the summer with his family in Italy. All of his feelings come to a head when he finally makes it very clear to Oliver how he feels by engaging him in a passionate kiss. Number two, confessing his love to Joe, Little Women. Throughout Little Women, Laurie and Joe's relationship progresses and his feelings turn romantic. Tell me the second. Has Meg perhaps mislaid a glove? Mr. Brooke has it. Yes. How do you know? I saw it. Where? In his pocket. All this time. Yes, isn't it romantic? No, it's horrid. I thought you'd be pleased. But Joe maintains the fact that she doesn't think she wants to marry. When Laurie confesses his feelings to her and tells her he thinks they should be married, she soundly rejects him and breaks his heart. No. It's no use, Joe. Please Joe, don't. we've got to have it no. out. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. And, and I tried to show and you wouldn't let me, which is fine. No. But I must make you here now and give me an answer because I cannot go on like this any longer. Please, please I need don't. A it's a difficult scene to watch because as a viewer, you can't help but feel for Laurie as he pours his heart out and is then spurned by the woman he's loved for so long. Any fan of the book knew this scene would be an emotional one, but Chalamet's performance brought it to the next level. It will be a lie to say I do when I don't. I'm so sorry, Teddy. 
I'm so sorry, but I just can't help it. I can't love anyone else, Joe. I only love you. How many times has Timothy Chalamet broken our hearts? I gotta tell you, our number one is a scene I sobbed through right with him. So let's look at some honorable mentions, and then we'll pick the movie moment that made us love Timothy Chalamet. Suckers, Hot Summer Nights. Hitting the dance floor, call me by your name. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. The end. Call me by your name. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. They're fine. Good. I miss you. The final scenes of Call Me By Your Name are undeniably devastating for both Elio and the audience. His summer romance with Oliver has come to a close, and months later, he gets a call letting him know that Oliver is actually engaged to be married to a woman. I might be getting married next spring. You never said anything. It's been off and on for two years. That's wonderful news. The film closes with a long shot of Chalamet as Elio sitting in front of the fireplace and crying as visions of Gideon by Sufjan Stevens plays. It's a subtle performance, but it's incredibly evocative, letting the viewer in on his complex emotions. Video. Is it a video? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.